The Bank of Japan leaves policy largely unchanged again, despite signs that economic growth is losing momentum. Both the central bank and government officials are sounding relatively relaxed about disappointing GDP and consumption data. The BOJ stuck to its positive economic assessment, saying exports were picking up, even though exports were partly behind the weak Q4 growth numbers. Finance Minister Aso told reporters he was closely watching external demand, but that he wasn't too concerned about it. The central bank's reluctance to ease policy further doesn't seem to have disappointed the markets. The Nikkei posted hefty gains even after the BOJ's announcement. But behind closed doors, Governor Harihiko Kuroda must be feeling the pressure. The hope was that consumers would rush to spend more before a sales tax hike kicks in in April, by which time the economy would be on stronger footing. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be happening to the extent that BOJ hoped and could make it even harder for it to achieve its goal of 2% inflation in two years. Some see the natural response as another round of stimulus, which could give the market and maybe consumers a much needed boost, though getting the timing right will be tricky. And even another monetary bazooka may not address some fundamental problems on the macro side. The job market is improving and some companies are starting to raise wages, but too many workers are on short-term contracts or stuck in low-paying jobs. And Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's reform plans could make hiring contract workers even easier, raising the question whether consumers will ever be able to play the role policymakers want in Japan's recovery.